In this lesson, we'll be going over how to use the color picker in Affinity Photo for the iPad. Now, as you can see here, I have this example image opened up on my screen. There's actually two ways that I can go about selecting colors from this image. I can use the color menu, which is located in the top right corner of the screen, represented by this white circle with a blue slash going through it. You could tap on that and it opens up the color menu here. Now, if you notice in the top right corner, there's a little dropper icon if you tap on it right there. What you could do is you could hold a tap over that icon and then drag it over the image like this, and it will grab a color selection from anywhere on this image that you hover it over. Now, if you notice what's happening here in the selector, there's a white box in the middle of the circle there. That white box represents the area you will be sampling colors from. The ring around the circle represents the color you'll be choosing. So if you notice right here, my color that I choose will be uh, a light gray if I let go right here. But if I move this up here, the color will be blue. And I'll let go just to show you. Now you can see up here in the top right corner, it's selected blue as my color there right next to the dropper. And if you want, you could actually tap on that to use it and it'll fill the whole layer with that color. That's not the effect I was going for though, so I'm just gonna tap with two fingers to undo that. Another thing you could do is you can create a shape like this, and now you could fill it with that color like that. That's another thing you could do with your color selected. Let me go ahead and undo that as well. And let's go over the other way in which you can select colors, which is by using the color picker tool located over here on the top left corner of your screen in the tool menu like this. Now, when you open up this tool, you'll notice the menu at the bottom of the screen here. By default, it should have auto apply enabled. I like to keep that turned off. If you keep auto apply turned on, it's not just going to sample the color. It's also going to fill the color with whatever color you sample, which gets in the way more often than not. So I'm going to keep that turned off. Let me undo that. I'm going to keep that turned off. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and choose my other settings. Down here, we have radius. Radius represents the size of the area you'll be sampling colors from. If you want to sample color from just a single pixel, I would use point one by one. Or if you want to take the average of colors between a large selection, like let's say a 257 by 257 selection, you can use that as well. I'm going to set this up to point one by one because that's the default right there. And then over here we have the source. Do you want to take your color from the current layer you have enabled or from the entire image? Now this image that I'm working with here only has a single layer, so this is pretty much irrelevant. But if you're working with images with several layers and you only want to sample colors from a specific layer, I would recommend using current layer right here. If layers are irrelevant to you and you want to sample colors from anywhere in the image, I would recommend using global like that. And now you can go ahead and choose your color the same way you did using the color picker from the, uh, the color picker menu. Like I'm gonna choose this yellow shade right there. And there you go, you see the yellow shows up over there in the top right corner. But that's not what I want, so again, let me undo that. But there the color is if you wanna work with it. So that is how you can go about using the color picker in Affinity Photo for the iPad. As always, thanks for watching.